the story of, of the purity of Musa alayhi salam when he met his wife from the, for, for, for the first time, or wife to be. Amazing. The story of children with Ibrahim and his children. Amazing story. This is what the Quran is saying. وَلَا تَنْقَضِي عَجَائِبُهُ وَلَا يَخْلُقُ مِنْ كَثْرَةِ الرَّدِّ فَتْلُوهُ فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ تَعَالَىٰ يَجُرُكُمْ عَلَىٰ تِلَوَةٍ Read it. For Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will reward you for you reading this Quran al Karim. Do you know that everything in the universe is created? Are you created or not? The only thing in this dunya that is not created is what? Al Quran al Karim. Do you know why the Quran is not created? Because it's the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's one of his attributes. Al Kalamu min sifat. It's one of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the words of the Quran al Karim. I'm not talking about the book. The papers and stuff and all that, they're created. But the words within it, they're not created. If you memorize the Quran al Karim, you actually have something within you that's not created. Can you imagine? You didn't get that one, did you? If you mention your mother's name, your mother is created, and her name is created too. Everything that you do in yourself is created. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even created what you do. So when you sleep, He created sleep for you. When you eat, He created eating for you. When you punch somebody, He created punching for you. But when you say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, He didn't create it. He said it. And you have it. You understand? You will possess, within your possession, something that's not created. A, an attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in your memory, in your heart. Can you imagine owning one of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in your heart if you memorize the Qur'an al that's why you can't go wrong with it. Because it's pure. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pure in all of His attributes is perfect. Just like Him. That's why He said in one of the hadiths, Hadith al-Qudsi, فَضْلُ الْقُرْآنِ عَلَى سَائِرِ الْكَلَامِ كَفَضْلِ عَلَى سَائِرِ الْخَلْقِ The Qur'an compared with His greatness to all the words and all the speech is equivalent to I being compared to everything else. Is, any, is anything near Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or be compared? And so is all the words. So if you memorize the Qur'an al-Kareem, you have taken one of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala within you. In Yawm al-Qiyamah, you will be sold. اِقْرَأْ وَرْقَ فَإِنَّ آخِرَ مَنْزِلَةٍ لَكَ فِي الْجَنَّةِ عِنْدَ آخِرَ حَرْفٍ تَقْرَأُ so if you know the whole Qur'an al-Kareem, you keep on rising and rising and rising because it will be said, read and elevate. Read and elevate. For your position in Jannah is at when you finish reading. At the last letter you finish reading. So if you know the whole Qur'an al-Kareem, Alif, Lam, Mim, Thalika al-Kitab, Una, Raima, Fi, Una, Lil, Muttaqin, you're going up, 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 up. Izbahu, Baqara, up, up, up. You're continuing. Huh? يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَإِذَا تَدَايَتُمْ بِدَيْنِينِ إِلَىٰ أَجَلِ الْمُسَلْمَنِ You're towards the end of Surah Al-Baqarah. You're still going up, up, up. وَانْصُرْنَا عَلَى الْقَوْمِ الْكَافِرِينَ You finish Surah Al-Baqarah. You're still going. أَلِفْ لَا مِيمْ Then you start in Surah Ali Imran. And you go to Surah Al-Nisa. And you continue going. Oh my God, you're already in Surah Al-Kahf that you read every Friday. Alhamdulillah, illa ni anzala ala abdihi al-kitab. Then you go to Surah Maryam. And Surah, inshallah, Taha. Taha, ma anzalna alayka al-Qur'an li tajka. You finish Surah Al-Ankabub. Now you already finished 20 juz. Now you only have 10 more. And you're going. And you're going. And you're going. You're elevating. Do you know how far you can go up to? Do you know how far you can go up to? With the angels all the way up. If you know the whole Qur'an. And you know who will brag about you Yom Al-Qiyam more than anyone else? Your father and mother. Because they will, they'll come and they have over their heads what? Tijan. They got a crown over their heads. They're king and queens Yom Al-Qiyam. <laughs> That's my daughter right there. Look at her. That's my son over there. Look at him. And not just that. SubhanAllah, not just that. Not just that they're wearing the crowns and they're bragging about you everywhere. But 70 of your families that's supposed to go to hellfire, 
you will take them to Jannah with you. Uh huh. First of all, the Quran will take you to Jannah, even though you were supposed to go to hell. If you were supposed to go to hell in the Quran, you memorize, the Quran will stand there and argue, I'm not going anywhere until I take him by hand to Jannah. But, 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 no, no buts. But he didn't deserve it. No. The Quran will argue. يُجَادِلُ الْقُرْآنُ فِيهِ حَتَّى يَقُولُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى لَهُ خُذْ بِيَدِهِ إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ hey, Until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will tell the Quran al-Kareem, okay, take his hand, take him to Jannah. Just go. Uh-huh, not, not yet. Uh, Seventy of his families are coming with him too. Hey, <laughs> wallahi, ya akhwan. Wallahi, I'm not making this up. This is hadith sahih fi sahih al-Bukhari. And then you start choosing 70. Now let me ask you, how many of you memorize 70 people of their family members now? Imagine, you're not taking 70 that's supposed to go to Jannah, you're taking 70 that are not supposed to go to Jannah. Look, I'm teaching you, make sure you take me with you. All right? And then you start choosing 70 of your family members. They all go to Jannah because of you. Because of this Qur'an al Can you imagine? You know, let me give you a short version. If you can't memorize the whole Qur'an al-Kareem, Surah Al-Mulk every night will argue on behalf of the Yawm al Surah Al-Mulk, every night if you read it, it will argue on behalf of the Yawm al and it'll take you to Jannah. If you can't do the whole Qur'an. Tabarak al-ladhi biyadihi al-mulk, wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Al-ladhi khalaq al-mawta wal-hayata liyabluwakum, ayyukum ahsanu amala. It's only two faces. One page and the other page. If you're using the Qur'an from Medina, it's only two, two sides. If you read it every night before you go to sleep, it will take you to Jannah. I guarantee you that. Wallahi. Okay? Because I didn't make that statement that Rasul Sallallahu did. Just read it every night. Now the problem is that you read it every night. Because one of the nights you get tired and you get lazy. Rasul Sallallahu says in the hadith, إِنَّ لِلَّهِ أَهْلِينَ مِنَ النَّاسِ إِلَى مَنْ هُمْ يَا رَسُولَ اللَّهِ قَالْ هُمْ أَهْلُ الْقُرْآنِ فَهُمْ أَهْلُ اللَّهِ وَخَاصِيَتُهُ A, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this earth has associates and families. A, he has friends, acquaintance. Allah has acquaintance in this world. People that are referred to Him. So the Sahaba immediately said, Ya Rasulullah, who? Who are these people that are considered acquaintance to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Who will be, you know, sitting with him, talking to him? Who? He said, Ahlul Qur'an. Why? Why? Because they're talking to him with the Qur'an al-Kareem. When they're reading the Qur'an al-Kareem, they're speaking his, his words. His words. And sometimes he answers back. So if you say, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, he answers back and he says, Hamadani Abdi. You say, Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, he says, Athna alayya Abdi. Maliki yawmiddin, Majjadani Abdi. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in. He said, that's between me and my servant. Hada bayni wa bayna Abdi. Ihdin al-sirat al-mustaqim. He says, Hada li Abdi wa li Abdi masal. Can you imagine talking to him and he talks back? He says, Alhamdulillah, he says, my, lo- my servant praised me. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, he said, oh, my servant is, glo- you know, is, is, is praising me. Malik Yawmuddin, my servant is glorifying me. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in, that's between you and I, <laughs> he says. Because, huh, just because you say you will, you will worship him doesn't mean it's true. He said, that's between you and I. Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim, he said, that's for my servant and for my servant whatever he asks. So ask whatever you want. He talks to you. That's why he says, "Inna lillahi ahlin, ahlin, a family." You want to be part of that circle? You got to memorize the Quran al-Karim. You can't be part of that circle without the Quran al-Karim. You can't. Now, some of you might say, "Well, memorizing the Quran al-Karim is not easy. It's hard." How many of you think memorizing the Quran al-Karim is hard? Those who raised their hands and said it's hard, you're contradicting with the Qur'an al-Kareem. Wallahi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Qamar, how many of you have read Surah Al-Qamar? Didn't you 